Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Doobie with MakeUseOf.com and today I'm going to walk you through setting up informative and useful custom dashboards using Google Analytics. Google Analytics remains one of the most popular and the most versatile website traffic tracking services. Installation is so easy that just about anyone with a website can easily install Google Analytics on their site. It just requires signing up with a Google account and pasting a bit of code into the footer of your site so that the code gets loaded any time any page gets viewed by a visitor. We have a number of articles that make use of about searching through the data you'll find inside of Google Analytics, but today I want to show you how you can display a whole bunch of information in a very small space using custom dashboards. You'll find custom dashboards under the customization menu option in Google Analytics. Under customization, click on dashboards. This is the index of all the dashboards you've created up to this point. As you can see, I've created a bunch of custom dashboards for make use of. Let me first show you what's possible with dashboards. With the dashboard, you can display things like relative visitors on, on the site, line graphs of things like page views or social referrals over time, bar graphs of things like how many pages visitors visit per session, broken down by some custom segment you've created. Pie charts of information like which day of the week most visitors tend to visit your website. So as you can see, dashboards allow you to graphically present many snippets of data in a form that's much easier to comprehend, rather than just sending your boss a spreadsheet and a bunch of embedded charts which can get messy. Excited to build your own? Okay, let's get started. I'll show you in just a few really simple steps how to build one of these dashboards for yourself. To get started, just click on the Create button at the top of your dashboard list. You can save some time by choosing a starter dashboard. This is a template with basic charts and graphics all organized on the screen for you. It's a shell you can use to insert your own data. Another option is to sort of cheat by importing from a library of dashboards. These are dashboards Google created that website owners typically like to view. If you want to save time, there are actually some pretty cool dashboards in there which you can customize to your heart's content. There are some highly rated ones in there like the SEO dashboard by Kevin Pike or the social media dashboard by Justin Catroni. It really depends what information you're interested in and how much you want to customize your own display. In our case, we're going to start fresh and build the dashboard from scratch. So click blank canvas and then create dashboard. You'll immediately see the add a widget form. Creating custom dashboards is all about laying out data widgets to design the dashboard. So the first widget we'll add here is real time visitors. Click on counter under real time. The only metric available is active users. If you want to see something about what the active users are doing on the site, you can also add dimension, like what country the users are from. Click Save, and as you can see, your widget now displays real-time visitors on the site and a breakdown of the top countries those, visit those users are visiting your site from. Next, let's add a line graph showing traffic on your site over the time you've selected at the top of your dashboard. Click on Add a Widget, and then under Standard, click on Timeline. Under Metric, scroll down to Page Views. And then click on Save. Simple, right? Just grab the widget and place it wherever you like. Next, let's build a pie chart that breaks down site traffic by the day of the week. Add widget. Click This time, click on pie under standard. Um, for the metric, we're going to choose page views again.
for dimension, choose day of the week name. Now notice you could actually break down your site traffic by things like refer, gender, um, other things like social network, referred traffic, uh, month of the year, and a whole bunch of other dimensions. But for this, this example, we'll just stick with day of the week name. Click save, and then move the pie chart wherever you like. I'll put it up here. Okay, now we're going to make things a little more interesting. Let's create a bar chart showing the bounce rate by country. This can provide you with some interesting insight into the demographics of the largest percentage of people who tend to jump off your site the moment they land on a page. This could help you, for example, tailor your content to be a little more inclusive. So to do something like this, add a widget, and this time choose bar. Okay, for the metric, we're going to go with bounce rate. And for the dimension, we'll choose country. And that's it. Just click save. And there you go. There are the top five countries for people who are most likely to jump off your site the moment they arrive. Finally, I'd like to take a look at one of the most useful widgets in my opinion, the table. I say this because tables allow you to import a lot of very specific information, usually related to particular pages on your site. To show you what I mean, I'm going to show you how to create a real-time table that displays all of the pages people are currently looking at on your site broken down by the traffic type, such as organic, referral, or direct, and how many active users there are on the page. So go ahead again and add a widget. And this time under real time, we're going to click table. And with real time, the metric is always active users. For the first dimension, we're going to add page title because we want to break it down by individual pages. For the second dimension, add traffic type. And that's it for setting up the table, then just, just click Save. And then we'll have to move the table to the center so it's a little larger. And as you can see here, you now have some insight into what people are actually doing on your site. For example, some articles may have a lot of traffic coming in through search engines, which is the organic traffic type, while other articles seem to be doing well directly visited from people who might have bookmarks or direct links from a friend. And even some of the most popular um, articles that are at the top of the list may be broken down by traffic type you can see how much, what percentage of people are visiting via search engines or direct links. Um, you can probably imagine that simply by combining different dimensions on the same table, you could analyze traffic behavior on your site using all sorts of different metrics, which could give you some really significant insights into how your visitors are arriving on your site and what they're doing when they get there. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you before we sign off here is how to share these dashboards with other people. Typically, you'll probably be creating something like a monthly dashboard for your boss or the website owner, for example. In that case, you can just export the PDF, which is a link at the top here. Just click Export and PDF. Or you can just select Email, and you can just email the PDF snapshot directly. So as you'll notice here, you can actually cheat a little bit. By creating this whole dashboard just one time and setting it up and setting it up as a time frame for one month using the date range in the upper right corner, then you can just set the frequency of the email to send it monthly. And you'll never have to create this dashboard or this report ever again. Analytics will auto-generate the report and then ship it off to your boss every month for you. You can even add a simple note saying here, is this month's report. 
job done. And your boss doesn't even have to know that you were just probably out drinking beer with your friends at the bar while the report was being generated for you. Okay, so that's it for creating dashboards. I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've learned something valuable about using Google Analytics for reporting and dashboarding. Until next time, this is Ryan Doobie with Make Use of, signing off. Take care.